Hey everyone, this is Tickle, and this is the third video in the five-part PvP guide series for Elemental Shaman. What we're going over this video is macros, keybinds. Really important, some of the basic stuff from keybinds, and some of the stuff you probably maybe weren't aware of for macros that could help you out, give you the edge when you're moving around and when you're using your abilities. So we're going to be going over the macros first, showing you how to use all your abilities in kind of some possibly more intelligent ways than you're doing it today. And then we'll be switching it over to the keybinds. And I will be showing you, using a custom-made key mapping sheet, how I do all of my keybinds. Literally all the buttons that I press, all the buttons you see down here, some of them over here. We're gonna be breaking it all down in a way that I hope is very useful for you guys. So everybody, hang on, let's get into it. Let's go. First type of macro are cursor macros. What does this mean? This means when I use an ability like Earthbind, where I click it and it has this green circle, I have to press it again. Those are two clicks to use the ability where my cursor is. What I've done instead is I use macros, which I'll put on the screen coming up. What it does is instead, like I have a different macro, wherever my cursor is, I press it once and it instantly drops the totem or the AOE where my cursor is. This saves you a lot of time, just a, saves a button press, but it makes a big difference in PVP. So I use the following cursor macros that are on the screen now, Earthquake, Earthbind, and a macro given to me by Pivzors. Please check his Twitch channel out below. He's a 2600 Ellie Shaman, which is the Stun Root Voodoo macro, which uses no matter what talent you're in, one of those at your cursor. It's a godly macro. Thank you, Pivzors. The next type of macros are targeting macros. These are arena targeting macros, which are pretty simple. Slash target, space, arena, and then the number. One, two, three. This makes it so you don't have to click the target. You can just cl click the key and it will switch your target to that person. I also have two macros for cleansing. One is for cleansing my party one without targeting it. And then the second is to cleanse party two. And that means I don't even have to target them. I just have to cleanse them if they have a curse on them. After that, we go into focus macros. You'll hear a lot of people talking about these, and these are the ones that I use. Starting with focus interrupt, probably the most important one, which will make it so you don't even have to be targeting the your focus target and still be able to interrupt them using this for healers or damaging you know, shadow priests, destro locks, what have you, to stop the damage coming in. These are pretty consistent macros across the board, so you can see that they're pretty much slash cast target equals focus and then the ability, but just good to note. And so I use focus macros for wind shear, hex, earth shock, and purge. Earth shock so that I can earth shock stun the focus target in case I need to, whether that's a healer or even a DPS. It's possibly another interrupt as well. Going into the LA specific macros, I have two LA specific macros I wanna share. One is for my Stormkeeper. I'm an orc, so I have my Blood Fury Racial. For this, I want to make sure that I'm using it at a good time, so what I do is I bind that into Stormkeeper. So when I Stormkeeper, I'm also using Blood Fury for orc. You can replace this with the Troll Racial or other racials if you so choose, but this is what I do. The other thing you'll notice is that in my Stormkeeper macro, I use Call Lightning. What's Call Lightning? Well, Call Lightning empowers your improved Storm Elemental and makes him do 300% increased damage to make his burst when you burst. The next macro I wanted to share, thanks to Azure, please check out his channel below as well, he's an Elemental Shaman brother, is use and then one of the two greater Storm and Earth uh, Elementals abilities, which is for the Primal Earth Elemental, this is Pulverize, which is a four second stun, Primal Storm Elemental, Gale Force, which throws them up in the air, my favorite ability. And then what I've also done is I've included a screen here just in case you want to pause the video and use one sheet as reference. These are all the macros I just went over. So if you're interested in using these macros, please use this to try to help you out, guys. Use the macros, use them well. We're going to go into the keybinds next, which I'll show you where I'm putting these macros and how I'm using them. So let's get into it. For keybinds, the first thing I want to go over is movement. If you go to your options, keybinds, Go to movement keys. The very most, the single most important thing you guys need to understand is keyboard turning is bad, and I'm going to fix it for you. It's not a question anymore. There's a change you can make. This is what you do move forward, W. And by the way, this is my opinion. Uh, strafe left, make that A. Strafe right, D. Uh, move backwards, change that, I change it to down arrow. Click it or unbind, just unbind it, get rid of it. So now you have move forward, strafe left, strafe right, that's all you needed to change, that's it. 
That is my number one tip for movement, and that is shown here in my movement keys. This is how I move, guys. I'm going to break down the, my keybinds using this fake keyboard I created. If you are interested in taking this keyboard and making your own content, please let me know. I'm happy to share this with you. It took a long time to make, so I definitely want people to use it. Going into the next section for normal keybinds, I'm going to go row by row down the keyboard. These are the keybinds that I use for the different abilities. I'm sure you've seen them on my bars. Now it's going to make a little bit more sense as I break them down button by button. Now these can be edited in your menu down here with keybinds, action bars, and multi-action bars going through the, you know, action bar is one through whatever this normal bar and multi bars are the other ones. So you can set them all up here, but let's go through this keyboard right now. First, starting with F1, F2, F3. These are the only ones that I use of the F keys. F1, Flame Shock, very easy to press. Sky Fury F2, also easy. Uh, Storm Elemental, Fire Elemental, using that in cooldown with F3. The next keys are my most offensive abilities on my, my squiggle through six. First, I have Wind Shear, very quick, easy to access, interrupt. I have Earth Shock on one, Lightning Bolt on two, Chain Lightning three, Lava Burst four. These are all abilities that are very, very easy to press. I'm pressing them all the time, always be casting. Stormkeeper, a big cooldown is on five, another big cooldown on six, the easy keys to press for me. Of course, this is preference, but this is what I use. Going down to the next row, Q, one of the quickest buttons I can press, Ghost Wolf, get in and out real quick. Purge is on E, use, I spam that button so much. T, Thunderstorm, this is the knockback. I don't use it that as often, so I put it a little bit farther away from my uh, main movement keys. Next row down, Caps Lock. Caps Lock is a big button because it's such, and it's such an important button. It's my focused wind shear macro I reviewed earlier. S key, now it's no longer backpedal. Now I use it for Frost Shock. F. F is for light uh, healing surge. This is where I can self heal or I can target a friendly and heal them. G is my lightning surge totem macro that I used from Piff Source. Thank you, Piff Source, again. The most bottom row, this is a little embarrassing, but I only use C and V from this row. C is a focused earth sh uh, earth shock macro, and then V is hex. I don't use Z, X, B, but that might change soon after you guys comment. Next, this is all the shift modifier keys that I've set up and keybinds I've set up. So let's go through them just pretty quickly. Shift one and two are purify spirit, specifically on my part, my party teammates. This is to easily cleanse them without targeting them. It makes it pretty easy. Next is my earthbind totem macro that I showed you, the cursor one. Next, shift four, earthquake. Shift E is my pet ability macro, the one I showed you from Azure. Shift R is my get the hell out of there. That's my gust of wind. Shift F is when I where I put my health stone. Shift C is trinket. Shift V is focus target hex. And that's it for the shift modifier. Shift is holding down shift and pressing those keys. As you can see, they're kind of spread out all around my movement keys. Next is my alt modifiers. My alt modifiers, alt one, two, three, are switching between the targets. These are targets, uh, switching to arena targets, one, two, three. Alt E is focus purge on my focus target. Alt R is perfect purify spirit on either myself or any of my targets. Alt T is to mount. I keep that bound just in case I need to mount up in a jiffy. Alt Q is my wall astral shift. Alt 4 is earth elemental, which is useful when you take the primal elementalist. And that kind of breaks down all of my keybinds. If you guys want to look at them more in depth, please pause the video at that time. I made it pretty easy and highlighted all the keys that I'm using. If you guys have any suggestions for how I've done my keybinds or how I could do them better, please let me know. I would love to hear what you guys do for your keybinds. I know a lot of people have a lot of different setups, and I want to know what you guys use. If you have a screenshot, if you have any type of setup, very curious, what do you use for your movement keys? What do you use for your biggest damaging abilities? Definitely curious. Hit me up in the comments. Hit up our Discord channel with that information. I would love to see what you guys have set up. And guys, this was the walking through the keybinds, the macros video for the PvP guide. Let me know what you guys are thinking about this series. If you guys want the next one out, uh, Arena or Battlegrounds, you guys tell me. And I will be focusing on that one. And I want to thank everyone for all their support lately. The guild's been growing. The Discord community's been growing. Thank you, everybody, for your support and your help. Uh, it's been a great time. Thank you guys so much. And I will see you guys in the next video. Have a good one.